Alrighty, let's get started here. This is the uh, lemon chiffon, little summer steelhead kind of micro spay, I guess. Yeah, my buddy Steve named it. It's been a good one for sure. Um, let's get started. Just gonna close out the return loop here. It's a pretty, pretty basic fly, really. I'm not even gonna lay a thread base here. I'm just gonna start with my tying a little bit of oval tinsel here for the tag. I tie this fly pretty short. It's not a full, full fly. We're going to do three or four turns at oval tinsel here. Let's just finish that on the bottom here. And pull it to the side for our, for our rib for after. Going to put on a little, little bit of a tail here of some pheasant crest. Kind of sharpens it up a little bit. Just a little shorty. Like that, just make sure it's on top and centered. And I'll wind that all the way down here. One of the tricks with these little micro spaces is finding the, finding the mallard to, to do the wing or the hood, I guess. I'm going to double a little body on here of just some super bright golden yellow dubbing. Pretty sparse. Probably just go up hmm, halfway between the return loop and the and the eye, I guess. Not a bad idea to leave a little room for a hitch if you want. And then just tidy that up, I'd say, just to make sure none of those little guys get in your in your way after. Maybe just a tad more. Good. You can always push it back just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. We don't have really a lot of stuff to tie on, so next I'm just going to do a rib here with my oval tinsel. And I'll try and do five or six turns. Finish up there. I try and always finish up on the, on the bare hook there so I can finish up with a nice clean head. You could brush that out if you want, but I kind of usually just leave it. After a fish or two, it gets pretty scruffy anyway. Alrighty, so a little bit of... I'm going to do a little bit of a collar here. I'm going to use some some pheasant. And only a couple turns. Give it a little bit of a fold as you go around. And ideally I want to finish up on a little bit of bear hook like that. This is a little Bob Viverka hook. It's the, um, I don't think it's made anymore. It's the 2131. Bob Viverka's classic salmon hook. It's been a great hook. I, I don't think it's around anymore though. Alright, we'll leave it like that. And next, next is the wing. This is the tricky part because you just got to find the right piece of mallard. A little bit more like that. That looks good. Let's just get ready to trim that. I've been using these little Dr. Slick razor scissors. They're killer. Gets right in there. I'm just going to throw one. Just tidy up there a little bit. A little whip finish. A couple of coats of head cement. I should note too that the... Uh, I got the original style from well, my old buddy Gary Stewart, who got it from uh, John Levras and his little uh, his little uh, Lady Caroline, super low water pattern. This is kind of modeled after that a little bit. Nice little finish there. 
couple coats of head cement. Finish that off nice. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.